So I've completed a zombie island of Dr. Ned. Let's play. Time to get back into Borderlands, the core game. Oh. oh, if that had an 18 round mag, that would be so perfect, so primo. That one, not so much. Always something new. Visit all our repeated locations. Crimson Cobra had a Type Game 1 body. Here. Type 1 barrel, Type 1 stock. Type 2 sight, yet still managed to be awesome. Except for the 12 round mag! Okay. <clears throat> I have to sell some of these. Oh. Oh, between the two of these, I actually like the Hyperion better. Never mind that it's not a legendary. They both have 4.7 power scopes. Look how comparably parted these are. Same barrel, same body type. That's a type 3 barrel. I don't know what body type that is. Uh... Atlas spares no expense in making guns that excel in every area. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Eh. See, I don't know. This is really good, but I don't like two shooters. If this was a three shooter, I'd probably favor it over the Defiler. But since I've got a Defiler, even though this technically appears to outmode it in terms of sheer stats, the fact that it's a two shooter means that it gets sold. I can't get rid of my one and only double anarchy until I get one that's better. Don't really need this since I've got this. This was fun only for the blade. Ahem. <clears throat> 
I don't really need either of these. I just bought them to play around with. I found this one. Uh, and I bought this one. Yeah, I can sell that now. Larry, my gun shoots more lightning than the next leading competitor. Okay. Need to get some more use out of the Cobra. And the Violator. Some of these I'm just going to get some use out of and then sell them. That's my intent. So I kind of want to give them a last dance, so to speak. <clears throat> oh, I need a fire weapon. Don't know what I want. Uh, now I'm not one of those types who likes to carry a large amount of stuff along with me. I will most likely end up selling this masher because it has a type 1 barrel. After getting some use out of it, of course. This also has a type 1 barrel. I don't know what kind of barrel type that is, but this is actually just a good, well-rounded machine pistol. Doll pounders are the best. Hyperion cobras are the best. There are new bounties available.
Not the best variation of the violator. I'd like to find just a plain violator with a decent barrel type and plain old iron sights on uh, Your head explode. I'd like, um, Mate, you about ready to get wrong? the sights on, uh, you know, the, the uh, it looks like a vent rim. Good chance to test out my new weapons that I've acquired throughout the course of my zombie island adventure. This violator actually fires a nine round burst in a three by three configuration, not unlike the Nanupal minigun made by Dahl in Borderlands 2. First, I need to check the shops. Even though I've, I've leveled up quite a bit throughout the course of my zombie island adventure. From 40 to 48. be able to be a contender.
That was a pretty good bone shredder. Pretty sure I'm going to end up liking this better than this as an elemental weapon. Because of the random, <clears throat> the randomness. High capacity elementals, burst fire elementals. I prefer SNS and Malawan when it comes to that style of. Well, of course, Malawan. When it comes to full auto elementals, it's almost gotta be SNS. When it comes to elemental weapons in general, my top choices are typically Malawan revolvers, almost specifically. Almost spe specifically, not entirely specifically. See how he sidestepped? They poke fun at that. They poke fun of that in <laughs> Tales from the Borderlands. Another equalizer. Is it 31 or 4? It's a 40. Oh, look at that, though. It's overscoped. It has a Type 2 barrel, so it has low accuracy. It has a... What kind of scope is that? Type 4, I'm guessing? I don't know. Let's just see how it compares. Out of curiosity. I should respec. I mean, not respec, re, uh, realign my stuff here.
interested in a doll stomp. <clears throat> or pounder. With a type 2 sight or better. Not interested otherwise. If it has a type 1 sight, it's a no go. Type 1 scopes suck on combat rifles and sniper rifles. <laughs> I know I should be testing my weapons on them, but there's going to be plenty of skag hunting to do. Right over here. Interested in a level 43 pangolin shield. Green label or better. Since there's less than a minute left, I might as well check the shops again before I head over to the Erin Hills. Two of the same thing. Model 260 Malawan Survivor Class Mods, both level 34. Oh yeah, I should probably mention that I have respect into mostly Rogue, offset with an equal amount of Sniper and Gunsniper. Blood wing set on explosive. Can't remember if I've mentioned this yet in the uh, during this series, but did you ever play Eight Eyes? On the NES. Terrible fire. Type 1 barrel. Type 4 cylinder. Really all it has going for it. Is that type four cylinder? I always thought there should be a revolver shotgun with a three-chamber cylinder. 
instead of two. Two just doesn't make sense. For the same reason it doesn't make sense with revolvers. Nobody would waste their time designing such a thing. Because it offers no advantage over a double barrel. Sniper rifles... Pump actuated revolving sniper rifles in this game get it right. The lowest number of chambers is three. Interested in level 43 pangolin scavenger class mod. Five line purple with plus two or better find rare items. Get some use out of this machine pistol. Electric shotgun looks like a doll, I think. This has a good capacity for a Hyperion machine pistol. Hyperion machine pistols usually have sixteen or eighteen round mags. I cannot abide a sixteen round mag on a machine pistol. Sixteen round mag on a machine pistol is just pointless. Now is this a doll or a torque? I think it's a yeah, it's a doll. Thirty-four. If it was a torque, it would be thirty-seven. Time that right, didn't I? I need to get some use out of this. <laughs> See why I like the Type 2 site? The one got in my way, so I couldn't shoot down the other one's throat. Teamwork! Teamwork works for your opponents as well.
might be wondering why I didn't bring a shotgun. It's because I have a masher. <laughs> Your head explode. Your whole self explode. Pounders are not ideal. Against enemy personnel, they're better as monster hunting weapons. Against enemy personnel, you're better off with an ordinary <coughs> combat rifle or a cobra or a stomper. I think I actually like Stompers better than Cobras. Electric Torg machine gun is at a level 37. It's going to have an accuracy rating somewhere between 66 and 68. Most likely it will be 67.4. 67.4. Called it. I noticed patterns like that. Can't leave you unexploded.
not brutal enough. <laughs> Had half a mind to finish it off with this just because. Then figured I'd give it the soul. All right. We're going to need more serious hardware for this task. Oh, try that one. I love equalizers. The most common and the most universally useful, in my opinion, legendary.
I know in the past I've had trouble deciding whether I prefer the Skull Masher or the Volcano. I still have trouble deciding which one I like better. I could just say I like the Skull Masher better for that reason alone. For the effect that the double X material type gives you. Jacob's ledges are always double X material, aren't they? That will never get tiresome, that will never get old, that will never grow stale, that will always be fun, that will always be awesome. Well, I think I've illustrated that this is an awesome weapon right here. I should probably get some use out of the flag. I destroy this wave. <laughs> Cut you up with a linoleum knife. By the way, a linoleum knife is a knife that's literally used for cutting linoleum. But have you ever seen the video or heard the song Cut You Up With a Linoleum Knife by Mastodon? Look it up! Look it up! Look it up! Look it up! You will not be disappointed. Did you ever see Aqua Teen Hunger Force colon movie film for theaters. If you like absurdular nerdants, check it out. Alright. Should get some use out of the vengeance. I think this has the best barrel type.
There they are. Let me get all the mooks off my back first. Now. of weapons. Ugh. Corrosive weapons are what you need. <clears throat> For destroying Moe and Marley to death. Using corrosive on a corrosive advantage. <clears throat> but the raw base damage still does damage. Perfect timing for that catchphrase. Is there anything else to collect? I don't think there is. Did I do... Sniper Rifle Parts Collection Mission, I think I already did that. Time to get some more use out of this. Skags, hey, is that a hellfire? No, it's a wild cat, which I don't like. Why did I think it was a hellfire? Wasn't really focusing on it, I guess.
Oh, in the words of Colonel Odessa Cubbage, a trophy worthy of any mantelpiece. Lost to oblivion. See what I did there? Oblivion lost. Get it? <laughs> Once a zoner, always a zoner. I know, I know, I should have thought that through a bit more better, more better. Instead of trying to gung-ho it. possible to get stuck back there? I don't want to find out. are more annoying. He doesn't make a good trophy. Anyway, what kind of message would that send, Morty? Human skulls as a trophy? That's bandit stuff. Ha <laughs> 
I love making enemies fall or fly off ledges. What? I should get some more use out of this. <laughs> oh. Really low accuracy. I think that brownies are generally like that. That's why they're called rowdy, right? I forget. Your shield. a really good Morty style loadout. Some of the best revolvers, machine pistols, sniper rifles. Backwards print. Mirrored print. Mirrored font. Five twenty two. <coughs> I know I picked up some white label junk along the way.
drop the teddies. White teddies, I should say. I know I just picked up a green teddy. Never mind what it, what it actually is. It just feels irresponsible to leave anything with even a halfway decent resale value just lying around so that it'll disappear and will have never served any purpose at all. At least if you sell it, you're getting some money out of it. And that's some semblance of a purpose. <laughs> you want me to sell, huh? That's a cool logo. Inaccurate that is. Plus it's a 34. I've already phased out everything below level 37. Keep it. Sell it. Oh. I might as well sell this because I've got the vengeance. But I can't bring myself to sell it just yet. Ah. Had some fun with these. Now I can retire them. Now you can retire to a lifetime of frivolity. Kudos if you know what that's for. Some version of Doom, I think. The PlayStation version, I want to say. No, I'm not going to get that. I specifically want a level 43 Pangolin Scavenger class mod. Five line purple. Top of the line.
Double Anarchy would be good for this place. Caught him sleeping, didn't I? The thing I don't like about this gun is it has a dinky back. Assassin. Emil time. You know, like Emil from Robocop. Corner. Taking too long. Isn't it appropriate that I, I mentioned Emil from Robocop and here I have a Robocop gun. There's also a Judge Dredd gun. The SNS Gemini. Which I don't really like that much. Hey, Atlas. Oh my god, I'm leaking. I think I'm leaking. Sorry. Hey there, stranger. This way, please. I like how he does it in Vader Zim Saloon. Terrible fire rate. Right? Ooh, but check me out. Look at the drum on that. A masher with a type five barrel. 
But is it a level 34? Yes, it is. Still, let's see how it compares to my Desert Master. Eh. remember when I first played this game, this area confused me so much, it was like a labyrinth. So much detail. Keep. Sell. Keep. Sell. 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 Likewise, likewise, likewise. I would like to find a level 46 or better Atlas Master. step before but that fuse box is sparking fuse box count insert number kudos if you know that what that was an odd to Yield. Stuck on the wall. Dang, Morty. <laughs> Got an awesome, maniacal cackle. See what I did there? I stunned him with Bloodwing. Because I'm using mostly rogue perks now. Rogue skills. Label, dull, combat rifle of some type. 
It'll likely be a uh, level 34. Yep. Type 5 barrel, type 1 body or receiver. Type 1 stock, type 2 sight. I didn't already have what I have. Steel Thunder. That's really good. Sniper rifle right there. Really good Torg rifle. And it just has a Type 5 barrel, a Type 4 scope. Maybe I'll get some use out. Even though it's it's not really better than anything I've already got, it's just good. Making sure I didn't leave anything uncovered, no stone on her. Yeah, I don't really like this variation of the violator. I want a non-elemental violator with no scope. Hippity hop, I love to hop. Because I'm a kangaroo. Or detail. Intricately detailed environments. Even to this day, it never fails to impress me. And this game has been out for how many years? Just like the Stalker series. I'm always noticing new details. All right. Oh. What should I put in my third slot? not affected by the Skull Masher. Knockback effect. Oh. He is affected by it. Not a CQC weapon, this is.
Yelp and Yezus, them sad. Who run Barter Town now, bitches? On playthrough one, I finished him off with a melee strike using a spiked shotgun. Just for fun. Fingers on a keychain. You should be able to get into the mine now. There's nothing between you and Sledge, and we're one step closer to the vault. I believe in you. Staircase of pipes. Imagine a no scope version of the Skull Masher. That midget was doing the screw loose strut. Something else inspired by Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. Don't know why I double reloaded. Over eager, maybe? Here's yet another reason to buy at least one DLC. At this point, you would normally have to hike it all the way back to Firestone through the arid hills from here. But if you have at least one DLC purchased, then what that allows you to do is this. And I've probably talked about this. I'm sure I mentioned this on my LP of Playthrough 1. Bravo Lima 1. Playthrough 1. Oh. Glad I got back here in time. An ordinary Type 1 barrel, but still, it's an explodey Thanatos. Definitely worth it. Remember, and what was that? Never mind the base damage, since it's an exploding. Oh, I should get some use out of this. This too.
Only 37s will be the first to get sold once I start selling things that I have. Sure would like to have a level 42 Hyperion version of this. Or a level 40 SNS version of it. And yeah, I know, I just bought a Thanatos. Let's see how that sniper com compares to this one that I've got here. If I didn't already have what I have. Okay, what should I take with me? Electric, corrosive, exploding. And I've got fire too. The volcano and the hellfire. All elementals represented. Oh. So many choices. Not ready to get rid of some of these yet. This is just a really awesome SMG. I'll get some use out of that Iridian shotgun thingy some other time. And this uh, Hyperion bruiser that I got from Dr. Ned. I'll get some use out of that later. Right now, I, I need to use some of these purple torques. All orange and purple.
Look how awesome that sniper rifle looks. Don't forget to check out Marcus' store. Mention of sanctuary. Does that give me level five? Four. Five, four, five, four. If I didn't already have what I have, that would be a worthwhile purchase right there. Forty-three green label or better a pangolin shield. Well, I'm not much for compliments, but you did fine. I think we're done here. Let me go turn in the mine gate key thing. I'm a doozer. Really? Well, that's disappointing. Not like I'm out a lot of money. I mean, I found this. Spastic little gremlin. Ugh. Doesn't seem so special. Oh. It's merely decent for being a level forty. Uh, too early. Too over eager on my part.
See the red dot. <sighs> Trying to get a vantage point. See if I can nail it from here. That's not worth it. Morty's sword and Krieg's buzz axe. Actually, Krieg's is more stylized than that. Looks like it has more of an axe handle shape. Yeah, sure. You're the gun that's as accurate as you are. Yawn. Good barrel. Eh, bad fire rate. I have plenty to do yet before I go after Sledge. Now, this might give me a chance to test this out. More, a bit more. That's more like it. See that zigzag pattern? Savvy on the part of the skag. Yeah, this Thanatos is failing to impress me. Zone sportsmanship style. Saw the red dot too late. You can always count on a double anarchy to see you through. And Torg makes the best. Because they're the most powerful.
<clears throat> Torg double anarchies are the best for the same reason doll stompers are the best. Or Hyperion Cobra. I would say, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I need to get all the missions. I would say Doll Double Anarchy is the second best. As an explodey, this just isn't my style. See how I shot it? In the flank behind the exoskeleton. So this sniper rifle is decent, but not spectacular. I think the Hyperion that I have in my collection... And this makes sense because it's a, my Hyperion is a level 42. has the same barrel, I think it also has the same scope. significantly better. Still, I felt the need to get some use out of this. Next, I should probably get some use out of that Hyperion that I just talked about. Hyperion Sniper. Pretty close. Level forty nine. Engineers here. Oh, something I forgot to mention while I was doing my Zombie Island Dr. Mad LP. There doesn't seem to be a day-night cycle. Well. 
like there is in the core game. You go chunks now. I jib you. Jib it good. What? I just wanted to pick up these missions. I'll probably do them next time. And by probably, I mean definitely. Four missions to do before I take on... check the shops before I called it for this episode. could skip this one because it's not going to have see it's got level 28 stuff in there so hey still 884 level 34 that's pangolin for you though not worth the low recharge rate though I've been using this ancient shield for the longest time throughout most of my zombie island LP and I'm pretty sure the only thing that's going to outmode it is going to be either a better ancient shield or a level 43 penguin <laughs> oh, terrible fire rate, but oh man, that's tempting. You know what? Why not? I can afford to have some fun. It's going to have the bad pump animation where you hold it off the side. Or not. Is it because of my class mod? No. 
take it back. Typically, if it's lower than 0 0.8, and it's a Jacobs, you hold it off to the side in a, a cockeyed fashion to pump it. Now imagine how awesome this would be if it was a double X and had a type 4 cylinder. I really want a stomper too. Well, but uh, this has a 12 round mag and a type 1 sight. It's got to have an 18 round mag and a type 2 sight or better. Type 4 barrel though, looks like a type 5 receiver or body. Don't know what type of stock that is, but it's a good one. Uh, it's well parted except for the low capacity mag and the terrible sight. Awesome damage. You know what? Before I call it for this episode, I might as well just have some fun. Just some all-out manic fun. I usually like my shotgun to be in slot two. And usually I only do this, the two sniper rifles thing if I'm using sniper comp with ammo region. I'm doing this on the fly, so what else? I know this is a matador, and that's... It would be optimistic, unrealistically optimistic for me to expect Matador to perform well at that range. It. I'm digging it. Finish you. Eight chambers to the cylinder, yet it holds twelve rounds. I can force myself to tolerate.
A Jacobs double X Matador with a Type 4 cylinder and a blade and no scope is probably one of the best types of shotguns you could possibly get. I checked all the weapon shops, right? Electro scan. Be like water. I know I didn't quite do the be like water thing, but with a gun like this, you could. These shops one last time. Atlas, no oh, look at that! Another. Oh, but look at the fire rate. It's a thumper. Well, that's just a good, well-rounded SMG right there, worth seven figures. If I didn't already have what I have, I'd consider buying that. It has the Heinz 57 shade of red, the cicada killer. Material tight. Panacea. So similar to what I've got. The only difference is between deadly and killer. So 
So favor deadly. Eh. Because of the way I have my my skills laid out, this actually would be better than the one I've got, but only a little bit. So I'm not going to blow seven figures on that when what I've got is plenty good. And I'll get uh, weapons and loadouts and all that stuff decided and finalized and whatnot. Oh, wait. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at that. Green Label Matador does more damage than a Skull Masher. See you next mission.